I feel like I'm really uptight, so sorry. I'm probably not looking like the most relaxed bride here. <laughs> It is classic FM, the more music breakfast, the time just coming up to 10 minutes past eight. If you're already on the train or on the bus. It's a silver six, but it's lovely. Yes, it's supposed to be. Louise, of all the people I've met and of all the places I've been, somehow I've ended up here with you. From the land of the long white cloud to the land of hope and glory, I'm grateful for having been able to find you in this big wide world. I love that we started out as friends. You truly saw me. You understand me, accept me in a way no one else has. In a way I believe no one else can. Because of this, you are my best friend my deepest love, and the best of me. So it's like, John plays and stuff out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the wedding of Louise and Aaron here in this beautiful setting in Orleans House Gallery. Aaron, you and I both know how indecisive I can be at times. But if there was one decision that I had no difficulty in making, it was to say yes when you asked me to marry you. To try to condense the depth of my feelings into a few words is so difficult. In a few words, I can't tell of the friendship and the respect that I feel for you. I can't express how much I appreciate your kindness and your inner calm strength, nor how much you make me laugh and the pleasure that I feel when I'm close to you. You are the peanut to my butter, the bacon to my eggs, the blue in my sky, the gin to my tonic, the sun to my shine, the spring in my step, the beat of my heart, and the love of my life. I made the declarations and vows of marriage required by law in the presence of your guests and witnesses. It's so for my great pleasure and my privilege to declare that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife. The new Mr. and Mrs. Chai.
talking about loyalty, most children with ponies who want to move onwards and quite literally upwards onto a bigger pony or horse. But Louise, no. Louise's loyalty to Peppy meant she never wanted to graduate to horses, preferring to keep her Peppy. And after she died, Louise stopped riding. So she, that was enough for her. So what can I say about the relationship between Aaron and Louise and the three characters? <laughs> That was, that was unintentional. <laughs> Adventurous, sociable and loyal, I think they both contain these ingredients in abundance. They bring them to their marriage and with a good seasoning of love, will have a long and happy married life. So finally, therefore, I give you a toast to the health and happiness of Louise and Aaron to the bride and groom. I'd like to acknowledge my mum and dad. I want to thank you for always being there for me with unconditional love and support. You've encouraged me to be the best person I can be. I remember my dad telling me, oh, son, you can do anything you want, doctor or lawyer. <laughs> and, I, and that encouragement has shaped my thinking that if you work hard at something, you will succeed. Thank you for letting me live here, letting me live my life here, and I hope I do you proud. Lou, we all love you so very much, me especially, you've been such a special friend to me, and we wish you every happiness in your future life, and we're so pleased for you both. To Louise and her husband, the bride and groom. In all honesty, I can't really think back to any sort of his adventures. But what I can tell you is that I think he is not a good man. <laughs> he is a great one. We've shared many laughs and good times, and it's been my privilege to have him as a friend and be here today to share this special occasion. Aaron, thank you for being my best friend for being unbelievably caring, patient, wise, and for always making my happiness your priority. You certainly weren't what I expected, but... <laughs> Wait for it! This is a heartfelt moment here, guys. You certainly weren't what I expected, but you've exceeded all my childhood dreams. Yeah.